Welcome to Cooking from the Cave. Today I'm going to show you how to make stuffed sole. We're going to stuff it with some crab, as well as some uh, thyme, some parsley, and some goat cheese. When buying pre-cooked uh, crab, you're going to buy it in a can, obviously, um, buy a very good product. You want to look for either lump crab meat or claw meat. And whenever I do that, you know, at, at the processing plant of actually canning it and cooking the crab, they try and get most of those shells out, but what I'll do is I'll actually take the crab and I'll lay it on a white pla uh, platter or plate and just to make sure if you see any bright red and you can even feel with your fingers, if you feel anything in there that's sharp or that's staying up really bright red, um, that's a shell. You want to remove that. Most of the time they get it, but I always make sure, give it like a 90%, uh, check it out and make sure it's all clean and everything. After that's done, we can go ahead and start to make our stuffing. Mixture and our stuffing mixture for this sole is going to be the crab meat, uh, two ounces of goat cheese, and I have uh, about three to four ounces of crab meat right now. I'm going to add parsley, and that's just minced up parsley. And we're going to break everything up together in this bowl. Mash it up. Make sure it all sticks together. The goat cheese will kind of act as your binder, so you don't need to put any egg into this. Um, but just kind of mash this up really well. Make sure it all sticks together. And then once it's evenly combined, we're going to go ahead and just hit it with a little cracked pepper. We don't need to add any salt to this because the crab meat itself will have enough seasoning in there. Uh, and it will be salty enough. We're going to let it sit for about five minutes. And then we'll come back and I'll show you how to stuff that sole. After letting it rest for five minutes, the reason I do that is because I want to make sure that if there's any liquid that's in the crab meat, it's drained off. And so I'll just pull everything away to make sure there is no liquid at the bottom of the bowl. If there is, we'll just throw that away and then we can go ahead and uh, continue with it. And now our sole. Our sole fillets, and you can use sole fillets or you could use uh, uh, lake trout, river trout. Um, you can even use skate wing for this recipe. It's all going to be done exactly the same way. You have the uh, you have two sides. You have the skin side, which is going to be the very smooth looking side, and then you have the uh, meat side uh, or the side that's actually up along the ribs. We're going to make sure that we stuff it from the outside of the fish in. So I'm going to turn the fillets over. So I'm looking at the skin side up first, and again, that's going to be very smooth. You're going to get this nice red line down the middle. Um, stuffing the sole, we're going to start at one end, and we're going to kind of pinwheel this up. So it's going to start with a real small amount, um, or it's going to start off kind of small, but you'll see it, it gets very large in the end. And what I'll do is I'll actually make this into one big roll so that I don't have to worry about the fish being in the middle not being cooked. So I'm going to bunch all of my stuffing up towards the tail end here. And I want to make sure I get even on both pieces. And if you have any leftover stuffing or something, you could always turn these into uh, crab cakes, but I think this should be a good, good amount. We can get them into the uh, fillets themselves. And now we're just going to go ahead and roll this up. And the beautiful thing about sole or trout is it's very easy to work with. It's not that delicate of the fish. And you can actually kind of pull it towards you like you're making sushi. And you just keep tightening it and keep tightening it. So you have this nice fillet, or this nice stuffed uh, fillet. We'll do it again with the other one. We're going to bring in that tail. Just slowly roll that in. Again, make sure you work from the skin side up and you have two beautiful stuffed uh, sole fillets there. We're going to go ahead and finish this recipe. Uh, first thing we're going to do we have uh, panko breadcrumbs. I'm going to put some chopped thyme in there. I'm going to season the fish up with salt. Not a lot, just a little bit. And this is kosher salt. You can use sea salt if you would like. 
as well. Some pepper. And I'm seasoning the fish directly so I don't have to guess whether or not that seasoning from the breadcrumbs gets onto the fish. So let's just make sure we season it generously with the pepper as well. Stir in the uh, thyme over here. And with just a little bit of pressure, we're going to kind of just coat the fish in the breadcrumbs. Lay it back down. Do the next one. And while we're doing that, we can go ahead and get our pan turned on high heat. Wait for that to heat up. And I'll show you the next steps. I'm adding uh, some canola oil and olive oil to this pan. I'm going to coat the bottom. Again, the pan's on high heat. We're going to go ahead and start by searing the end of the fish where it meets the other, so where it curls over. We're going to sear that first. And what that does is that's going to sear it closed. And what you'll see is you'll start to see the uh, breadcrumbs brown up. You'll see the fish turn bright white. It's a good sign. We're just going to continue to roll these in the pan until all four sides are coated nice and brown. And then we'll finish them off in the oven with a little bit of chicken stock. Our fish has a nice coating on it, nice brown coating on it. You can see it's turning white. I'm going to add about one cup of chicken stock just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. So if you're using a smaller pan um, that's use a little less chicken stock, again, we only want maybe about a quarter of an inch in there. We're going to wind up using that uh, chicken stock kind of to help uh, plate up our dish. And then this is going to go into a 425 degree oven on bake mode for about eight minutes. I'm just going to set my timer and we'll come back and finish up this dish. I went ahead and wilted some kale. Uh, you can really use any sort of greens on this. This is the one to bring out some color on the plate, but also to give the plate some different texture because the fish is so delicate that you want to give your, your dinner, uh, you know, just some different dimensions if possible. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and let this roll back over. Beautiful golden brown. really absorb some of that sauce or some of that chicken stock that I added and then don't forget to also make sure you incorporate some of that chicken stock into your final plate up which I'll do right now and I'm really just going to go ahead and pour this right over the top of the fish and you have a very simple but very elegant uh, dinner that you know only takes a few minutes to prepare a lot of different flavors uh, and very simple techniques but a ton of flavor so thanks for watching cooking from the cave there's your stuffed sole with crab I will see you real soon